we, okay, again, finding the vertex, we, we talked about completing the square the other day. So now what we're going to do is talk about finding the vertex. I know this is repeated information to some of you. Just bear with me, please. Finding the vertex. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have it written in vertex form. And as we just talked about, vertex form means that you need, you need to make it look like this. X minus H quantity squared is equal to negative K. And remember that your vertex is the opposite of how it shows up when you have it in vertex form. So the vertex is always the opposite of negative H, which is a positive H, and the opposite of negative K, which is a positive K. So if your H value is negative in, in the equation or in, in vertex form, you know that your vertex is going to be positive. Same thing happens with your k value. If it's negative here, here it's going to be positive. If it's already positive, and your vertex is going to be negative. Not new information. All right, so let's talk about problems like show that show up in number three. So this is what number three looks like. Um, x squared, now this is not on your paper. I'm going to make one up right now. x squared, let's do minus 10x. And then there might be some number added to it. For example, um, 27 equals 0. And what we need to do here is make this equation look the way it's supposed to look if it's in vertex form. So the first thing that you need to do, writing this in your notes, please, 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 get this in your notes. The first thing that we need to do is get rid of this plus 27. Because if you remember from the previous examples, there was a big blank in your in your. Um, your equations right here. So we need to make there be a blank again. So how am I going to get rid of this plus 27? Go ahead, Donovan. Minus 27. Minus 27. So you subtract 27. It gets rid of it on the left side. But if you subtract it from the left side, of course, you have to subtract it from the right side. So I'm adding a step now. So now you have x squared minus 10x. I'm going to leave the space where the 27 used to be, equals, what is 0 minus 27? Negative 27. It is negative 27. All right, now what you need to do is the same thing that you did earlier. You need to take half of negative 10. So what is negative 10 divided by 2? Negative 5. Negative 5. And then remember, when you square a negative number, You've got to put in parentheses, negative 5 squared means negative 5 times negative 5, which is a positive 25. So you add 25 to the left, but if you add it to the left, you need to add it to the right. right. So I'm going to add 25 here, but I know that if I add 25 here, I've got to add it on the other side too, so I'm going to have a plus 25 over here. Now the whole reason we did that was because these three terms make a perfect square. What perfect square do they make? So in parentheses, x, bring your minus sign down, minus half of 10 is 5, so it's x minus 5 squared equals what is negative 27 plus 25? It is negative 2, which means then that the vertex vertex is going to be the opposite of minus 5, of negative 5. What's the opposite of that? Positive 5. And then, of course, the opposite of negative 2, which is a two. positive 2. So our vertex in this case is negative, excuse me, positive 5, comma 2. Oh, go, 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 go. I would like to do one more example, and then I'm going to let you guys work on this yourself. Okay? Let's try that again. Let's do one more example. Yay. Let's try this. Um, x squared plus, let's do plus, let's do 22x plus 22x um, minus 7 equals 0. 
Same process as before. We need to get rid of that minus 7. We need that empty space there. So how do we get rid of a minus 7? We add 7. So I add 7 to the left, which means I add 7 to the right. So I am left with x squared plus 22x. I'm going to leave my space. Equals 0 plus 7 is 7. All right, and then if you remember the calculator steps, or the steps, not the calculator steps, but the steps from before, I take that 22, I divide it by 2. 22 divided by 2 is 11. 11 squared is 121. So I add 121 to the left, which means I need to add 121 to the right. right. Turn around, you with us? So I add 121 to the right hand side. These three terms we have created, we've created this so that we can make a perfect square. So I put my x down. I bring the minus sign, excuse me, the plus sign down, so it's a plus. Half of 22 is 11. Is equal to what is 7 plus 121? 128. So the vertex is equal to what, comma what? Negative 11, it's the opposite of plus 11. Negative 11, and then at the end we're going to have negative 128. Negative 128. All right, a minute ago I said I was going to do one more, then I was going to let you guys work, but I want to do one more. And the reason I want to do one more is because if you look at number four on the back page, number four is almost identical, but there's one extra thing. Not even really an extra thing. It just looks a little bit different. So I would like to go through one of those so that, first of all, it's on tape. And then second of all, you guys can go right from number three right into number four. So try this. Still in our notes right now x squared minus, let's do minus 8x plus, let's do 11 equals 20, 20. Let's just do 20. 20, 20. No, I want to do 20. Okay, what do I need to do first? Well, by the way, what is different about this one than the one we just talked about? The other one was equal to 0. The other one was equal to 0. This one is equal to 20, <coughs> not 24, 20. <coughs> So what I need you to do is get rid of the plus 11. How do I get rid of plus 11? Subtract it. So I take away 11 from the left. I take away 11 from the right. So we have x squared minus 8x. Leave your space. Equals, now we have, it used to be 0 minus 11. Now it's 20 minus 11. What is 20 minus 11? 9. We have a 9 here. Make your perfect square. Take negative 8, divide it by 2. That should be coming second nature to you now. Negative 4. Now you have to square negative 4. Negative 4 squared is what? 16. Positive 16. All right, that means I add 16. But I can't just add it to one side. I must add it to the other side. These three terms make a perfect square. So in parentheses, squared. Put my x down. You bring your minus down. Half of 8 is 4. 9 plus 16 is 25. Your vertex is equal to what, comma, what? 4, comma, negative 25. Questions? Are you ready to try the rest of them? I'd rather have you just do it. Pardon me? Huh? <laughs> okay. Are we okay?